stingrays usually send people swimming the other way, but one local man keeps rays in his basement. Some keep stingrays in their garage, but that's a car story. <laughs> Paula Tuckman meets the man who makes stingrays feel right at home in tonight's Paula's People and Places. When Michael Furton says, hey, poochie, 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 oh, he doesn't mean a pop like a dog. He means this kind of pop. Yep, that, ladies and gentlemen, is a stingray. You just never know what you'll find in people's basements. In this modest home in Brentford, for instance, you'll find a swimming pool with four freshwater stingrays. Now, that in itself is rare, but even more rare, next to the pool, seven babies. Yup, this basement marine biologist of sorts has turned the art of breeding stingrays into hobby, sport, and passion. When they get this big, they oh, have a, like a poop in their mouth. It's, it's, it's hard fiber, and it crushes uh, crab shells or anything. So when they're the size of that one over there, it's never a problem. I try not to stick my hand in their mouth. I will go under them because I know them so well. Sounds important. Especially when you pet one of these creatures. Perhaps as environmentally really temperamental as some tropical plants, these critters normally found in the toasty waters of Florida are doing just fine in the burbs of the Midwest. If you can have a green thumb with freshwater fish, this guy's got it. The spotted ones are called Mataros. The fancy brown ones, reticulated. They're like dogs, really. They can smell the difference in people. This is my other baby. It's a reticulated ray. You can see the red. Yeah, come on, baby. Will she bite me? No, just touch the front of her. She'll be fine, I'm sure. Come on, baby. Now she knows my hair from your hand. It is fringe, worms, and shrimp instead of milk and eggs. And look at these discus. Saltwater fish have nothing on them, nor the eels or the Oscar. He's raised to be so docile, they wouldn't think of eating the smaller fish. But without question, the most spectacular thing are those stingrays. Or thumb. Don't try this at home. They're called stingrays for a reason. This is a stinger that came from one of these guys. Probably want to leave this sport to the experts. Local first. Maybe the rule of losing a thumb, actually. Because it's a goldfish, you feel so. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are delighted to have a brand new face here in the Channel 4 family. Yes, Kim Adams joining our 